What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in there. Let's uh, release, maybe, release some of the beasts here. <laughs> Guys gotta get out of it. Well, just got here, and as you can see, we have an escapee. What are you doing, lady? Should probably go see how the others are doing. Oh boy, we have multiple escapees. Hey ladies, what are you guys doing? Holy cow, you guys are supposed to still be in the pen. How did you get out? That's the question. I'm being followed. Holy moly. Oh, now I'm trying to fly. All the extra fencing around it looks good that I can see. Nothing too obvious. Somebody's happy to be back. Come on, Horace. Yeah, I'm not sure. You guys are gonna trip me. <laughs> I'm not sure. The only thing I can think of, maybe they flew over the top right here. I may have to put some more netting there. We've been here two minutes, guys. Okay, more like five. But see what see what I have to deal with here? Every time. Dang white dog. Has to come out and roll. Find something to roll into. Don't rub up against me. No, no. No. Stop trying to rub up against me. That's what I have to deal with. Come on. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in there. You're supposed to be out here. Oh, yeah. so easy, easy, easy. Just trying to help. There you go. How long you been in there? All right, guys. I'll get you some food. Somebody. Oh, 
There is water. All right. Oh yeah, they're still good. They still got lots of food. That's all right, I'll give them some more. Just top them off. Hi, lady. Oh, we got some eggs. So I designed that like that so I can just pop open the sides and grab them. They definitely need some help though. It's she's about 10 years old, so she needs some love. The girls are gone, mom's gone for the weekend. They all had a uh, softball tournament. Uh, we're gonna have quite a few of those this summer, you know, with the girls all doing it and everything else. But uh, they have a softball tournament, so it's just me. I couldn't go because I had to work. Um, we, I chose the important ones that we thought, you know, I needed to be at and I took those ones off, but unfortunately, you know, you can't take them all off. Uh, and the girls understand, you know, I do what I can to be there for them as much as I can. But, uh, anyway, so that means it's just me this weekend and I'm free. So it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. I got off and, uh, got out here and what we're going to work on today is you guys can see it behind me here. We have got some bio compost finally out here. And uh, what we're gonna use that for is the garden. Now, when we bought this, they told us you could plant directly into it. Uh, it was not too, supposed to be too hot or nothing like that, but my buddy got some too. And uh, he got to this, his stuff way before I was able to. Um, but he said within a week of him putting his plants in the ground, they all died. So I'm no expert, um, not even close guys. This will be our first, you know, main garden here. Um, but I think it's too hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna till up the ground where we're gonna have the garden. One to do raised beds, but we can't afford that this year. So we're just gonna try this and see how it goes this year. You know, you don't know unless you try it. So that's what we're gonna do. It's a learning year. Uh, we're gonna till up the ground. I think they call it fluffing. And we're going to put this on top and we're going to till it back in again. And we're going to plant directly into it. We're going to have to put a fence around it of some kind, some sort of protection, because we have, you know, the antelope and we have the deer and the rabbits and the chickens and, you know, everything that would love to eat it before we get to. So that's my plan for the evening. And this weekend is to get that done and get the plants in the ground.
We're back, day two. Um, as you can see, I ended the day with uh, Sage and the girl, well, mom and the girl showing up. Sage, he helped me try to get the last of the beds done. Um, we could not work on this one because there's a post right there that I got to try to figure out how to get out. And that's my first job for the day. I hope you can see it. I'll get some footage of it, but it is super smoky here. We got smoke rolling in from the Canada fires and Montana fires and stuff like that. Already, this, I mean, it's, it's crazy that it's starting this early. But anyway, makes it a little bit tough. Uh, the wa air quality was like 130 something the other earlier. Um, I think 150 is when they say it's really bad, but I'm not positive on that. But so, yeah, we're going to work on that today, try to get the beds up. I'm going to. I brought out what we have planted. Um, now, some of those have not survived, obviously. Uh, I'll show you what we did, what has survived, and we're gonna try to get them in the ground today. Because after today, no, tomorrow, we're supposed to start getting some more rain again. So I'd like to have them in here, help out with that. Um, but yeah, first thing on the agenda is I gotta try to figure out some way to get this post out of the ground. I remember when I put it in, I was standing on the back of the truck with a hammer beating it down in the ground. So I got this all tilled up. Now, I don't know if I got enough in there. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys think I got enough in there. I did three, three wheelbarrows full, and this bed is six feet wide. No, five feet wide, sorry, by 35 feet long. Um, and this is clay. So I'm hoping, as you can see, things are growing around here. I just don't know how it's gonna work for a garden, but I'm going to try this bed at this. I'm going to get the rake out. I'm going to get it smoothed out, get all the big stuff and the grass pulled out of it. And then uh, try to make some rows. I got to look up how far to space Brussels sprouts and broccoli, because I don't know. <laughs> it said on the packages, but that was a while ago and I didn't bring them with me. So um, the plants are, they're looking kind of sorry. We had to transplant them once already and uh hopefully they'll survive we'll find out i guess if not we'll throw some seeds in the ground and give that a whirl so our growth season here isn't super long but we'll do what we can we're learning we're new to this um let me know guys if you think this is going to work or not or if the plants are going to live uh as you have noticed i have not trimmed them back everybody says that you need to trim them back to one so maybe that's what's wrong maybe and I'm, I, I'm probably going to do that when I put them in here. I'll pick the strongest one, leave it, and then get rid of the others. So, but all right, I'm going to get to raking this out. Well guys, I'm not sure if that's right or not, but I think that's how I've seen it done. So I got the two rows. Boy, this is hard. <laughs> um, I got the two rows done. Now I'm just gonna lay out the plants and get them stuck in the hole and get them watered in.
Thank you. 